Shalom, Shalom. Giving our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Giving double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Yes, the house of David is rising. Our back at you with another lesson. Trekking through this here, Pierce here. I go and hit one or two precepts and then keep it moving. But this is, I thought this was a nice piece of scenery to catch, yes, sir. Nice piece of scenery. So I'm going to stand, stand there for, for a couple of minutes and read some precepts. Reflecting on this, this nice scenery, man. So that's another good way to do videos. When you just look at certain pet pictures. Certain places that look so picturesque, precepts may come to your mind. Precepts like what I'm going to read here and now. First one that comes to mind is Isaiah 44 and 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. See that? That's the water there. <laughs> Most I said he's going to pour water upon him that is thirsty. And floods upon the dry ground. The effect of water on dry ground, it replenishes it, it moisturizes it, it makes it nice and it makes it flourish for the plants them to grow. And I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessings upon thine offspring. That's the comparison there. That's how we're being blessed right now via the spirit otherwise described as the breeze so the spirit is going to replenish us it's a blessing upon the offspring so just take a look at that there that's that water refreshing water man proverbs 25 and 25 as cold water is upon a dry land or from a distant land so is the word this truth to a thirsty soul and I couldn't resist it man I had to get a, I had to do a little video of this one very picturesque give me um, some ideas some good ideas to do things things I like to do if you're into uh, if you're into certain art and stuff like that or if you're just, um, just a visioner or a visionary or you just like nice scenery, postcards, po postcard pictures, <laughs> this could be the video for you. And, and, and some spiritual food as well to reflect on. So it's not about, it's, it's, right now it's not about me being in the camera, it's about the picture. A picture paints a thousand words. And seed and my blessings upon thine offspring, and th and they shall spring up as among the dr among the grass, as willows by the water carses. Again, that's what water does for you. It hydrates you. It makes you spring up. It, it flourishes the earth. The earth flourishes. The plants grow, the vegetables them grow. If you're planting anything, it speeds up the it speeds up the process, the process. And water is a hydrating, first quenching thing. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the waters, water courses. And we're right near, we're, that's where we are now, right near to the water, water carses. And one shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall ascribe with his hand unto the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. Yeah, his name was originally um, Israel, and it was changed to Jacob. Prince of the power. Because you push it and it 
So um, yeah, and out of, out of Israel is gonna become a mighty nation, man. Yeah, ten shall become a thousand, a thousand, you know, etc., etc. Out of a nation shall come a thousand, and that's how the seeds are gonna be on the land. I think that's in Genesis 18 and 12. Uh, the blessing, the, the blessing was given to Abraham. His seeds shall become a thousand. As many as the stars in the heavens, and you can't count the grains of sound, sand. So there you have it, man. I just wanted to catch that little quick little vision there. You know, visualizing. Picture paints a thousand words. We've got another preset we're going to hit. One or two more precepts. Proverbs 25 and 25 says, As cold water to a thirsty soul, so is a good news from a far country. As as cold water is to a thirsty soul, so is good news to a far country. As it's good news to us, this truth. But it's not good news to the wicked. Because we know the earth is rising up against them. All form of shark attacks. Yeah. All form of bison attacks. All form of killer whale attacks. Coming against them. And it's all documented now. It's increasing. Definitely um, Job chapters 5 says that the earth is rising up against the wicked and we're seeing prophecies unfold right before our eyes, man. But it's good news for us because we're in league. We are definitely in league with the animals. Job chapters 20 goes into that. We're in league with the stone, we're in league with the earth and we're in league with the animals. And anything that the earth produces the whole world was created for our sakes. So we're, we're in league with it. And we're going to get back everything that the wicked have stolen from us. Thus saith the Lord. Our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yoshai. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. Uh, 2 says, Deuteronomy 32 and 2. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill all the Jews. Yeah, again, man. That's the word of the truth, man. Moisturizing, uh, flourishing, hydrating to all the sincere souls. But it's, it's fire upon the wicked. It burned them up. Burned them up to know that their, their future is going to be the missiles. And eventually getting burned up like stubble. Obadiah 18. That's their, that's their future, that's their hope. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. There you have it again, man. Giving you that visual right there. Yeah, that wonderful visual right there. Yeah. A picture paints a thousand words. There you have it, man. A picture paints a thousand words. And shall rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. Ascribe ye greatness unto the Lord. Yeah, that's that name, man. We got, and we're publishing that name. Throughout far and wide, all around the world. Everybody going to know that name. Every, everybody going to confess that name. And everybody going to bow down to that name. Thus saith the Lord. Philippians 2. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto the Lord. He is a rock, his work is perfect, but all his ways are judgments. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right. Yeah, that's the power of the name, man. The power of that name, we call upon that name. The name is a strong tower unto the righteous. So that's that, and it's that name that's bringing down this kingdom. It's that name that's bringing down his wicked kingdom. Just the energy and the vibration of that name. And it's terrible unto the wicked. 
All you wicked, that name is terrible unto you. You fear that name. And you hate that the fact that we now have woken up. Princes of the power have woken up to that name and now we call upon that name. It's a terror unto you. You hate that. So, enough said. We're going to end with one more. This is Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapters 2. 14. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters as the waters cover the sea <sighs> yeah so as the water cover the sea the earth shall be filled with the glory and the knowledge of the Lord need I say more need I say more a picture paints a thousand words man so need I say more I'll say one more Habakkuk 2 and 14 I read again For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord It's getting filled now See that? And there's your visual Yeah The wicked are The earth is rising up against the wicked The truth is against the wicked But the glory and the knowledge of the earth is filling the earth And that's why we're rising up We have the name now And we're publishing it throughout the earth And we're going to continue and we're going to watch this earth. We're going to see the destruction of this place, man. Yeah, Babylon and the mother of Babylon. Thus save the Lord when their missiles come, man. And it's going to be it, going to be the end for the, for the wicked. And the beginning for Jacob. Jacob is the beginning of, of the world. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it after that followeth. Enough said. A picture paints a thousand words. Deuteronomy again 32 and 2 My doctrine shall drop as the rain And my speech shall distill the dew As the small rain upon the tender herb And as the showers upon the grass Because I will publish the name of the Lord Ascribe ye greatness unto the Lord And it's only him get the glory He deserveth no, only him alone And him alone won't get the glory man Yeah, Revelation chapters 18, 11 and 18. Him alone, you are worthy to ascribe glory and greatness. You, you, are name, you alone are worthy to receive the glory and the honor. Yeah? He is a rock. His work is perfect for all his ways are judgments. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. Enough said. A picture paints a thousand words. The earth is becoming filled with the glory of the Lord. Shalom to all the sincere Akim. The house of David is rising and everything the wicked have done to us, past, present and future, is falling upon their own head. So on to the next one.